What's up world? Welcome back to Radical Investors where we talk about stocks, investing, and all the ways how to get to the money. I'm Wasu. I'm Hamed. And today we're talking about one of our favorite companies of all time. Um, yeah. Let's go! So the company that we're here talking today about is Desktop Metal. One of our all-time favorite companies. All-time favorite, guys. Um, one of the bigger bets of the decade that we've put in. Um, we're going to... When the story of desktop metal is told, um, hopefully we're on the we're, we believe we're going to be on the right side of that that uh, history. Absolutely, guys. Um, from the name, just hear the name, guys. Desktop metal, like Ooh, it just sounds, sexy. it just sounds Clean. nice. It's yeah. right. It, it, it hits right. It's like strong red and black letters. Right, the, the letters, the branding of the logo is very like impactful, man. I think it's something that it is is here to stay. Um, yeah. Desktop Metal is, so for those of you that don't know, Desktop Metal is, it's a 3D printing company. And um, they started off as a SPAC. Um, that's when we got invested into the back company. In the trying days. Yeah, back in the trying days, TRNE. Um, and then they uh, officially merged and became Desktop Metal. This was like back in the top of the year. It, actually, December. It was in December time. Uh, currently trading at around $20. So it's still low if you actually think about it it's just Still some value yeah it's, it's, sure. it's trading double to what they were spacking at so if you're looking at it from a 10-year scope super early under i believe 10 billion dollar market cap so definitely a lot of runway to grow um so when we say they're a 3d marketing or excuse me 3d, 3D printing. printing company yeah they're not the your uh, let's call it version one 3d or generation right. one 3d printing company where you know you would get some little thing in your house and, and some print pro- out, yeah, some, you know some legos or something yeah, like that some prototype no, 3d printing they're, right? they're um basically next generation manufacturing um type of company so their their machines can print up um, pieces to go in cars right pieces to go in spaceships right um, and that are already going into cars and already exactly. going into these spaceships yeah, yeah. so in industrial level um industrial scale 3d printing and um we when we first started researching and learned about this company um we learned about some of the people that are backing this company you know chamat yes yeah, um, some, of, some of the the besties are, yeah. are, are invested in the company um, we started learning about the founder. We said, "Oh my God, this is absolutely a no-brainer." The proximity. They they they're um they're located in Boston, and they're like within miles away from um the name of the comp the it's the school. MIT. MIT. That's right. So proximity to the highest quality engineers. talent of engineers in the planet. Yeah from MIT so it's just down there so we we love that we love all of these things about this company um the CEO recently spoke about how about his vision and how right now so what what's terrible in the manufacturing industry is parts are being made across the planet and being shipped so you've got these lag times where you know uh, a company might produce some products in another country far in the far east let's say and they have to wait six months pay tariffs on these products and then you know get them at a later date as opposed to what desktop metal is looking to do which is looking to localize um, manufacturing so a company that's based in singapore would have a localized manufacturing uh plant where desktop metal would have a localized uh, office where they could uh, take care of that company. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It, it's going to bring the cost down for manufacturing for um, all kinds of companies, guys. Yeah, no, it's, uh, and not even to speak about the the clean component, right? Yeah. So um, right now we didn't even know this. So manufacturing is still done in like archaic ways, right? Very when archaic. Take sheets of, of so of much steel waste and, and waste like 90 percent so much of, waste. Of, of the sheet just to produce yeah um a little object so all that is going bye-bye um in the in the next in the coming decades and companies like desktop metal right yeah smart green technology yeah um they're helping to to kind of push the for, push the world 
um, forward when it comes to um, not wasting as much resources. It's definitely, I mean, there's a story there that needs Absolutely. that that's definitely being told right now. Yeah, they they they're aligned with a future. I think um, a lot of people want to see, and you know, they're early on in doing those things. Um, also, the uh, the CEO spoke. Another thing we like about this company is the CEO is ambitious as far as dominating this space. He talked a lot about one of the reasons he went public this year, took Desktop Metal public, was to open up capital and take advantage of being first to market, right? Now, these guys are sitting on a couple of billion dollars in cash, which means what, guys? You can, it's R&D, but it also means acquisition, okay? so. They're, they are positioned to, to catch one of these um, private 3D printing companies that might have figured something out that they might have not and acquire that and bring that under their umbrella. Absolutely. You know, when, when I heard that, I, I, Amazon came to my mind, Salesforce came to my mind, Facebook came to my mind. I mean, these are like titans in their individual spaces that are trying to dominate and if you get in on a company that's looking to dominate, I mean, you are just, you've got a lot Strap of- Strap in, get ready right? for the ride. It's a, it's a rocket ship, right? Yeah. To the moon, so. So this company isn't a, 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 a company that you need to have a, a six month investing horizon on. Obviously we're not financial analysts. Right. We're not gonna tell you what to do with your money. But for, for us, we are strapped in for, for the long for haul. For the long haul, guys. This, this. The industry, manufacturing industry is about 1.2 trillion. And they're just on the, just they just tapped into like 0.1% of that. So when that whole $1.2 trillion space gets uh, revitalized and, mm. and moves into this new wave of manufacturing, just think about how much potential there is for desktop metal to take their share. And then when you think about the prosthetics, yeah, right? and how they're talking about getting into uh, manufacturing prosthetics. Yeah, prosthetic that was just limbs. announced today. Yeah. And then when you think about, you know, going into the sci-fi category, right? When, you know, this is me just completely going off the rails here. But, you know, we, I just got done watching Zack Snyder's um, Snyder cut of yeah. Justice League. And there's a character called Cy Cyborg on there. Okay, yeah, that's when you're right. talking about, you know, the merging of human beings with technology. Right. You know, I can see a world where um, you get uh, some type of. Uh, a mechanical arm printed up on a desktop metal machine. No, absolutely. That that's interesting. And then if you think about like that would be the best way to to print multiple cyborgs at scale. So if you can print me up some new knees, then yeah. I'll take it right now. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we love yeah, so we love the fact that they're they're kind of spreading they're 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 going into different industries, right? You're going into the manufacturing, but they started off with manufacturing of, you know, cars and spaceships and those types of things. But to, to, to be having enough forethought to say, wait, we can apply this, these same principles into the prosthetic space, the health industry. You know, I, we like companies that are thinking like that because yeah. then you, you basically, uh, you become all weathered, right? That means there's, you're never lenient and, and dependent on one particular, um, company for all of your revenue or one particular um industry right for all of your revenue so for sure it's a uh, one to, to put on your list if you're not watching desktop metal already um you're sleeping um go ahead make sure you do your own research on the company put it on your wish list yeah put it on your things do to it. buy a list and if there is by chance anybody from desktop metal that is watching this video i've been trying to uh I've been doing this on the daily with your post guys. We need some desktop metal merch, okay? Let's make 3D printing cool, okay? It Let's is cool, it. it's already cool, okay? Think SpaceX, think Tesla. These brands are cool because they have these products that people can wear and be free advertisers of, okay? So if you guys want a 3D print a flamethrower, <laughs> I'll be the first one to buy it from. Guys, you. let's do this. Let's think of these little creative projects that kind of get a lot more interest into your company and for it to be relevant on a pop culture sense. And those things matter, actually. 1,000%. So, All right, guys. So if you're loving the content that we're making here at Radical Investors, bless that like and subscribe button. 
come join the most jet setting, yeah. Gucci shoe wearing, yeah. Rolex wearing, yeah. NASCAR driving. <laughs> Let's go. That's right. Group man. of investors on the planet. We are headed towards the moon. Um, we started off with a small army and our tribe grows every single day. Day by day. We don't want to be the only ones um, that, that taste the success. We want everybody in our tribe to taste that success with us. Come join us. We would love to have you. Yeah, guys, links are down below um, to for you to join our Patreon where you can support the channel and join the Discord. We also have links where if you aren't a stock trader yet, feel free to sign up for those uh, platforms where you can purchase stocks. Uh, when you do sign up, you get free stocks to start with. So take advantage of all of for those sure. platforms. And uh, like I, always, as always, happy hunting. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.